welcome again to Pastor on Call. I am Pastor Mike. The title of this video is The Devil Has a Word for You. Listen, we all know that God has given us his word. And although we usually think that the Bible is his word, the Bible is not actually the origin of the word. The origin of the word of God is the Son of God. Jesus is the Word, a living revelation of the spoken Word of God through the Holy Spirit. And from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, Jesus Christ himself says in Luke 24, 44, he says unto them, these are the words which I speak unto you, while I was with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. He's saying that the word of God spoken is all about him. Jesus is the word, the revelation of the word from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. Jesus is the Word, and the Word speaks to us by the Spirit. Now listen, just as we have the Word of God through the Spirit, from heaven, through, by, through Christ, the devil also has a Word for you too. The devil also has his own truth, and his Word is manifested in evil, but camouflaged in goodness. There's many religions that claim to teach about God, but their religion breeds evil and hatred and division. The devil has a word for you and for me every single day. He speaks things like this. Is there really a God? Is there really a God if there's so much hatred in the world? Is there really a God when I see young children die of, of, of rare diseases? Is there really a God? If there really is, then why? Why wouldn't God stop all this violence? Remember, Satan has a word for you, and the word for you comes camouflaged in goodness to your thought life every single day. Before you were saved, there were walls built around your heart. And these walls were the undisturbed possessions of the devil. These walls were fortified through a mindset of religion by works or salvation by works. These walls were fortified through your own philosophies and opinions and values of your own religion. Meaning a, a religion, any religion that teaches salvation by works is a word from hell. These walls, these fortified walls are a barrier, they're a lie, and they suggest that you can earn heaven over being good based on your own standards of being good. The devil has a word for you today. He speaks words of lies. In fact, Jesus called him the father of lies. And just like we have Jesus, who is the word, Satan, the enemy, also has a word for you. And so many people have bought the lie. In fact, the Bible says in the latter days, even the very elect will be deceived. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 6, Paul writes, although we walk in this flesh, we don't war after this flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, not of this flesh, not muscle, but mighty through God to the pulling down of these words, these strongholds. Paul writes, casting down those 
imaginations. That word is logomos, reckoning, computation, hostility. Thoughts, words that enter your mind. And every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God's word. He says, bring every thought of the enemy's word into captivity to the obedience of Christ. The devil has a word for you. And when your thought life is in agreement with unbelief, and when your thought life is in agreement with fear, habitual sin, the enemy has spoken. Satan feeds on habitual sin and by, 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 by speaking words to you, thoughts, suggestions to you. He attempts to rob you of the power of joy. His goal? His goal is to rebuild the strongholds that he has once again created around your heart through the words he's spoken to you words of unbelief, words that sometimes we buy as truth, which in the end turn out to be a lie. Paul writes in Romans 12, verse 1 and 2, God, I love this. He says, I beseech you, my brethren, therefore by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. That word transform means metamorphosis. Be metamorphosized by the renewing of your mind. In other words, the junk that he spoke to you, let your mind be metamorphosized. Let it be renewed. That word metamorphosize is similar to how a a caterpillar becomes a butterfly or a tadpole becomes a frog. Even though a caterpillar can't fly, inside of him was always the DNA to fly. Even though a tadpole cannot jump, cannot hop, the DNA, the nature, of the frog is still in him. Paul says, allow your mind to be transformed, metamorphosized by the renewing of your mind. Allow your mind to be renewed each and every day in his word, to expose and reveal what you already are, that the devil says you are not. Let your mind be transformed and metamorphosized that you may prove what it is that is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. The devil has a word for you. He can't love you because of your sins. If there was a God, how could he allow innocent children to die? If there was a God, how could these terrible things happen to innocent people? He has a word for you, but I have a word for you. Jesus fought the enemy's lies with the word and said, for it is written. Remember this, God's word will never return void and it always produces good. It always produces love and peace and never confusion. And never chaos. The devil has a word for you today, but Pastor Mike has another word. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. For he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When fear invades your heart and your mind, you shout forth, for God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. That's the word for you. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe. Put those comments below. God bless you in Jesus' glorious name.
Amen. God bless. I hope this video was a blessing to you. And if it was, please don't forget to subscribe below and put your comments down there as well. Also, if you are interested in making a donation to this ministry, uh, please go ahead in the description box. There's a link down there for you to make your donation. Also, please check out our website. It's also in the description box as well. May God bless you. Thank you for watching. See you around.